Game number three here today of the CC Master Cup in the quarterfinals. Lin versus Sock. Who of these two is going to join Focus and Moon in the top four? Top four receives prize money. The rest go home empty-handed. Lin we saw play yesterday and win against Fortitude in a pretty tough series. Sock got his victory against... I'm blanking right now. Alice against Alice, yes. And uh, didn't see that, that happened off stream. But uh, Alice certainly not of the same caliber as some of the other players in this tournament. So Sock had a bit of an easier road until now, but here now he faces the War Chief. Playing Farseer, no surprise. Against AM. When Stream goes playing, sometimes you have to wonder what the first hero might be. I have seen Blood Mage first by Chimiko. I have seen Pally first by Chimiko. I've seen MK first. I've seen everything from Chimiko. And of course also uh, Fire Lord Tower Push. Which for a while was the only thing that Chimiko played. Scout Peon is... A normal play to go for nowadays on Last Refuge. This Shadow Priest is so important. You want to make sure the human doesn't get it too easily. If the footy goes for the Merc Camp pull, then the Shadow Priest is going to be stolen by the intervening peon. So with Sock seeing this peon, I guess he is now... He should not try to pull out the creeps and try to hire the Shadow Priest. Oh, creeps are woken up. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Can Sock maybe go for the Shadow Priest now? I, I doubt it. Fars here going for the High Priest right away. There's a footy here to harass. Ooh, the AM is coming. Coming from the north. Oh, no action. Oh my god, he stole it with the footy! Oh, sick play. And super fast level 2 for Sock. And he got the claws. Great opening for the human. Way better than normally you can expect it to go on this map. Gauntlets. Okay, not the greatest, but something. And this Farseer has barely any experience. Well, I guess he killed the two little trolls, so he got something. But this is a great opening for Sock. This map oftentimes can lead to the AM not even being able to creep to level 2. Not to mention level 3. Oh, but the sentry. The sentry sees this camp being attempted. Seems like Sok wanted to be sneaky, wanted to wait until night time. But the sentry ward lets Lin know exactly what's up. Oh, that's a lot of damage on these peasants. That's a lot of damage on these peasants. Wolf resummon should be ready. I don't think Lin can steal the item. No, AM gets it. And that's level 3 and the aura. Wow, what an early for Sock. And you know, makes me wonder, is the best opening for Orc really to creep this camp? Maybe you should just be aggressive on the AM. Just be aggressive instantly. Oh, lose the grunt. Be aggressive instantly and deny his level 2. Oh, one more fireball. Even has to use the TP, that's a big deal. This means he can't use it to protect his TC later anymore. Oh, the Berserker. Save him. Oh, nice block with the Militia as well. Wow. Sock playing a great game. And Lin, not the best game so far. Uh, seems like he's not coming into this map one with all of his senses at 100%. Oh man, and now level 3 AM with claws and flute. Oh boy. Oh, and the block on the grunt outside of the main. Don't know if he can find any kills, but he can certainly find the lodge cancel. Oh, the berserker. Can you at least get that one? Oh! He's gonna get the Berserker, okay. Lin gets something, that's the level 2.
The other grunt also survived over here, okay. Still a great early for Sok, of course. This strategy, Farseer TC for, sh for Orc, normally relies on an expansion sooner or later. Harassing in the early, slowing down the human, and then becoming strong on tier 2 quickly with Shaman and maybe even Raiders and Kodos. And then using that strength to expand behind it. But if the human gets such a good early, that whole game plan goes out the window oftentimes. Mountain King on the way. We have casters, by the way. Casters and breakers. No are under rifles. Sock for a while played three rifles into mass caster. Seems like that's his not, not his place anymore. Just with the AM and the MK, a lot of pressure is on Lin because the lodge was cancelled earlier and the shaman are later and the water elementals can't be dealt with too easily. In the normal game, Lin wanted to have crept this natural now with the TC solo, get good levels on him and expand there on the spot. But this game everything went wrong. Starting with the footy last hit, continuing with the ensnare on the grunt, in the AM, getting this full camp on level 3. Big healing for the MK is very nice. Oh. And the Zeppelin drop shenanigans begin. Sok apparently trying to counter expand, or just trying to expand. What's the peon doing here? I don't know. This drop, with the intention of doing a lot of damage to the economy, and also forcing Sok back. Sok has a TP here, right? He's delaying his TP, even the Book of the Dead summoned. Now comes the TP. Seems a little late. Speed scroll. And Lin is out of there. But the expansion is coming. MK very close now to level 3. Going the clap Stormbolt build. She'll drop her ass. Pretty cool. And he's got purge against the water elemental as well. Very annoying to play against for Sock. Feels like he needs a workshop and a gyro, but doesn't have enough lumber for this. Of course, getting mass towers is another answer. And well, we do have one tower now in the main. To add the expansion. Witch Doctor. Lin wants to plaster the map with sentries and play the run by evasive style. A player's forces are under attack. He's gonna have a lightning shield again soon.
so what Sok wants to do now is ensure that he's not taking too much damage, get a lot of economy, get a big army, and also prevent the counter expansion. There's still no expo coming up. Then has a lot of resources. Does he have pillage? Surprisingly, does not have pillage. Well, I guess you one grunt only. Oh wow, only a single grunt. Rest is ranged. So gets the big item from the red helm of valor. Tippy's back. Going Dragonhawks to be safe against Windriders. We don't have Windriders, but it's of course always an option. And can also be used against the harassing Zeppelin. Oh, creep jack now. TC finds a decent stomp. And the ranged army can snipe these priests very easily. Dealing with the breaker is going to be the tougher part. Sock still has only a small army somehow. Trying to dodge these Kodos. Oh, nice to spell on the speed scroll. With that, the Kodos have a tough time reaching. Stomp against Clap, as so often. No breakers have been devoured yet. Good dodges by Sock. One Stormbolt left against one. Uh, a lot of stomps, actually, with the invul. Eh, mana pot, I mean. Now he gets a breaker. And now the expansion's coming up, by the way. So, Lin wants to keep the attention up north. Wants to keep on trading here, even if it doesn't kill too much. MK, careful, has to TP out. Expensive. 350 gold for that TP. Did the MK not have an invul, by the way? I'm not sure. Expo here seems pretty well fortified. One breaker is gonna die in the Kodo stomach here soon. It's gonna be level 4 Farseer. Then Wolf Harass will become a little more annoying. And these Dragonhawks were not the greatest investment so far, but they do deter Windriders, which is of value, I guess. Oh, big clap against the big stomp. Kodo goes forward, gets off the munch. Seems like both here have pretty small armies. Oh, that Kodo should be falling with the next clap. Nicely done. Good MK control here. Very close to level 4. TC did use the big mana potion already, has nothing left. Using the invul chain lightning. Barely any damage. Didn't bounce to the Metalisha. Oh, and now we have control magic against the wolves again. Or for the first time, perhaps. That's a lot of summons suddenly available to Sock. That Zeppelin. Oof. Very close to falling. Mountain King level 4. Lin has to fall back. Tries to get away with a speed scroll. MK Stormbolt. Oh, the TC! Big mistake by Lin. He had the uh, Zeppelin still in the same group as the rest of the army. Loses the level 4 TC. Ouch! That tavern revive is gonna hurt. It's like 600 gold or something. Yeah. Oof. And that's the next red camp for Sock. With the heal award creeping, this isn't too hard. Along with breakers. Cloak of flames. Ooh, baby! MK says thank you. A bit of wolf harass in the main, but nothing major. Do arcane towers, by the way, more damage to wolves, or is it guard towers? I don't know. It must be pretty close, right? 
If I had to guess, I would say arcanes do a little bit more damage than guards. But uh, I'm really not sure. Oh, wolves again in the main. Ha! Huh, the farm wall. Kind of cute, but not exactly working out very well. Next fight breaking out in the middle. TC has only a single stomp left. There we saw it. Kodos do get off some devours. Well, it's only one Kodo though. Breakers being mostly ignored. Breakers aren't really getting attacked, only getting eaten, and the priests are the targets. Sock with a thousand gold, but low supply. Low 5 a.m. now. Has to be the aura at 3, I guess. And indeed it is. Ooh, another clap! Big damage right there. No heal scroll anymore to... Ah, oh, I think there was one more heal scroll. Try to counter the damage. Very close to the level up. Level 5 Farseer. Is it Wolves for the Harass or is it Chain Lightning? He hasn't decided yet. It is Wolves. Well, next to two Breakers though. That kind of backfires. And MK level 5. Tons of mana regen from the aura. And the wolf harass now can be used against peasants. And one purge isn't even enough to kill these big boy wolves. Oh, and this watch elemental as well. Great play by Sock. Oh, Gyro, I like that. For the detection against sentries. Oh, or you can steal them. Did you see that? With control magic, you can steal the sentry wards. Which is kind of crazy. <laughs> Especially crazy with heal wards. Oh. You're my sentry now. Oh, TC's gonna get level 5 here. Game is never over when the TC is level 5. And the wolves in the main. Very annoying. Still not with the biggest army. He's had this expo running for such a long time. Lin's expo has lot, much more gold left, by the way. If Lin survives until this gold mine runs out, he still has a good chance. Arcane sentry finally for the towers. Desperately needed against the wolves. This cap is still here, but would not grant any more experience, only items and gold. Sock runs back just because of the wolves? Alright, maybe now we're gonna see what does more damage, Arcane or a Guard Tower. Huh? Maybe not. Fifty-nine supply for Lin. Wind Riders can be very helpful now. There is not much anti-air. Oh, and the wolf stolen. A player's forces are under attack. Stormball on the TC doesn't do much. Breakers being kind of split, speed scroll, engage, but good dispel, kind of. TC didn't get dispelled though. Trying to find the big stomp. Gets it now. MK is stunned in the front line, but still has the invul. TC may have to use that invul here in a second. Slow trap is kicking in hard. Lin's forces all controlled pretty well with that slow. AM in the back though, he's probably gonna have to TP out of this. Dangerous! Invis! Are you crazy? Not TPing! 
And Link calls for the GG. The TC was about to die right there. And Sock takes the 1-0 lead. Well done by Sock. Lin made that in the late game pretty difficult for him. Sock got an advantage early and decided to play it slow. Play the expansion game. And then rely on his uh, very strong MK, especially in the late game. So one oh lead for Sock. Is Sock finally the first human again to beat Lin in eight months? Today might be his day. Of course, that early game, not the greatest for Lin. We have to be honest. Normally Lin has these insane early games where everything is just flowing perfectly and uh, melting like butter. It feels like everything just perfectly finds one move into the next and it makes a beautiful piece of art. That game, for once, not the case. Footy stole the last hit, Aim got level 3, Groner got ensnared and got killed. Lodge was cancelled. Everything was slowed down. So now Lin has to come back, has to step it up. This would certainly be a bit of an upset if Sok gets the win here. Second map, Amazonia. Sock could make it a 2-0. But CC Master Cup so far hasn't been liking 2-0s. It's been 2-1s all the way through. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get another 2-1 here. Ever since the slight rifle nerf, we haven't been seeing them too much against Orc anymore, but we have been seeing them a little. But even before the nerf, uh, it was really Infi who once again showed how good breakers and priests can be. And uh, we saw a move away from rifles more and more, whereas they had uh, dominated the meta quite heavily. Like the first three months or so of this year, it was rifles all the way through. Rifle priest only. And then Infi in that one glorious game at WGTL against Focus. It seemed like that inspired the humans again to go back to Breakers, who in the late game normally fare much better against the TC, thanks to their magic immunity. All right, let's go to map two. Thank you, Herr Wusel, with the 35-month resub. Oh, what's happening here? No lightning shield creep. Normally, when orcs play on Amazonia, it's always a fast lightning shield creep. But no barracks means no lightning shield creep. Huh. Unusual opening. It's going to be a very fast tech then for Lin, but no level 2 right away, no chain lightning. And this is the nice thing for Orc on this map. You do the lightning shield creep right away, you get level 2, and then you can walk across the map and with chain lightning, contest last hits really, really well. Like for example, the trolls over here, or even the kobolds. But taking the kobolds is really dangerous in the first place to do for the human, so normally it's about the trolls. But for that, you need grunts early, and you need to shop early to recover health. Lin not doing this. Skipping grunts, skipping the shop, just going farseer and super fast tech. He's gonna have a second hero way ahead of his opponent. And that is the major benefit of this build. Getting the tech very fast and getting the TC very fast, so he can start leveling much quicker than the MK. Footy sees what's going on, but there's not really much that can be done about this. 
a blind counter against this strat could be Fire Lord Tower Push. But... Yeah, you have to do that blindly. You can't know that he's going for this build before you decide on your own strategy. So tech comparison. It's not even that bad for Sock, considering how fast Lin's tech here is. Oh, one single wolf given away would be level 2 on the AM. Oh, nice resummon. Thirty second cooldown on the resummon, so you don't wanna send the wolves in too quickly normally. Tech into Arcane Tower. This is also pretty much what most humans have agreed on nowadays. Oh, the next farm is really late though. No lumber mill either. Could put a lumber mill here if you wanted to. It seems like Lin was a little bit mad at himself after the first game. He seems to be, at least so far, uh, seems to look a lot crisper than the early game on LR, where I guess we can say he was a little sloppy. This is costing Sock quite a bit of lumber, calling this militia over and over. But that did not uh, convince him to use a lumber mill. To construct a lumber mill. And now we have the TC. Lodge way in the back. Pretty well protected by these burrows. I am finally going to creep his level 2. But Lin is on the chase. Uh, is he going to look over here? To see if the AM is trying to go for the green. Oh no, he lost track. Expects him elsewhere. But it's only level 2 AM, not level 3. Oh, now comes the Lumber Mill. Seems a little late. Oh, big camp. Just steal it for the, uh, for the AM. Seeing this away from the TC is really nice. The wolves are scouting, looking for the AM, but he can't find him. During nighttime, a sneaky little creep here gives Sok a ton of experience. I forgot to update the score. Whoopsie. A player's forces are under attack. Not solo creeping the TC right away, which is normally what we expect to see. Oh wow, Sok is getting so many creeps. He stole this camp away from Lin, and now he's stealing the middle camp away. Uh, but the big Taskmaster is still there. Farzir doesn't have enough mana for the Chain Lightning. Does Sok realize this? He should. Uh, big last hit. MK is coming in with the Stormbolt. This should be a TP first. Ooh, and it is. Oh man. Sock looking really good. Claiming the Taskmaster now for himself. Claws. Not bad. Double claws on the AM. Ring for the MK. Also nice. And Lin, how the hell are you going to expand now? It is rifles this time, by the way. Yeah, we did see the blacksmith earlier, so I guess we should have realized this. Great early games. Game 1 and Game 2 by Sock. MK with the Stormbolt on the TC. Dropping quite low. Does survive, but it's going to have a tough time re-engaging. I didn't see who got that asset. I think it went to the Farseer. Item to Mountain King, though. Militia come now. A little bit late, maybe. After the camp is already gone. That should be easy. A shaman kills now. Yep. Magrand is left over here. 
then trying to get it back to the main and we'll be able to a player's forces are under attack lumber is very low for sock good thing he has this lumber mill hopefully he sends the peasants over to the right position because when you play rifles you do want upgrades so far we have none but we do have long rifles TC level 3, and now comes the expo. But this is pretty easy to cancel. This map is very small. Easy to push, even for the rather slow human army. Still no upgrades. Oh, not even the adept training. Oof. He needs that adept training really badly against the lightning shield. A player's force. Quick scout. Footy sees the Great Hall right away. Takes two and a half minutes, so there's plenty of time still to cancel this. Not so easy to counter expand. Sock is kind of broke. Going for upgrades now, finally. And adept finishes. There we go. And that should make Sock quite a bit more confident to move out on the map. MK also with the mana pot, very close to three. But the TC is close to four. Got some good mana items here. Militia call required right now. I think they have been called. Yep. Takes a little while though. Lin doesn't want to engage into the militia. He knows they're on their way. Sock sends them back. And we'll probably call them right away again. Oh! Sapper was not enough damage for the cancel. Oh my god. Oh my god. He killed himself with the sapper. The footy killed him. Or oh, the footy was killed by the sapper. Sock needs to get this cancel. How expansive is this cancel going to be? Is the question. Shaman are trying to get in range for the purge. So are the raiders, but they're a little too slow, it seems. All right, expo is cancelled. We remain on one base versus one base. TC takes a lot of damage. Could have dodged that stumble with an invul, I think. Oh, all the priests are hit. Every single one. Sock perhaps not perfect with the positioning of these priests. Militia coming in from the main. Good stomp again. And that's all the priests gone. Oh, man. And now lightning shield can do a lot of damage again. MK still has that mana potion to use. Doesn't go for the TC right now, goes for the Kodo instead. They will bring him back. Another rifleman. And Lin is dropping hard in supply, down to 40 supply only left. But he's also killing quite a few rifles as the trade. Sorceress uses the slow, okay. Double slow. Good job. TC still has that invul. Speed scroll. And he gets out. Pretty even exchange, I think it was, at the end of the day. Peon is still here. Expo is still not coming up. Nice item for the MK. Man, he's tank! Would have preferred mana items, of course, but it's not bad. Tanky, tanky dwarf. This creepjack, though, might be a little too much. Stumble on the TC, but he's tanky also. Heal potion and going in. Yeah, smart TP out by Sock, I think. This is one rifle only. Oh, the priest left behind. Seems like he didn't have him in the group. Smells like this is time for the expo now. Players' forces are under attack. No, yeah, not yet. TC getting dangerously close to five. 
And this time it's not playing against breakers. This time it's playing against rifles. So, stomp is always good, pretty much. MK getting level 4, also a big deal. Now the stomp bolt much better. Scroll the beast. Ooh, great item. This red camp, not so easy to creep. I think he pulled out the creeps, right? So they don't use the slam. Yeah, he did. And the rock golem spams the slam here. This is where it becomes really painful. So, kudos to Lin to abuse the AI. Cross plus 12 for the Farseer is alright. Certainly not the best. Still no expo. TC level 5. Booyah. Life is still only 1 0 upgraded. Only 5 rifles as well. Okay, here comes number 6. Helm of Valor. MK becomes more tanky. Oh, the AM. Uh oh, he's getting caught by the ensnare. Sock, how quick is your reactions? MK into the front line. Form ranks! Oh, the TC. Ooh! Massive stomp! And he has at least two more of those. Throw the beast pop. Heavy focus on the Torrent Chieftain. Invul will have to be used here pretty soon. Kodo comes in with a devour as well. Clap. Focus. Heal scroll against it. Militia from the main. Farseer is level 4. TC though needs to be careful. He is very low now. MK is ready with another clap. Still quite tanky, still with the invul. Stormbolt goes for the Kodo. Kodo over here taken out as well. We're again very even in supply. One more Stormbolt is ready. Throws it very late. Oh, then comes back in. Clap. Not the greatest. I am in trouble! Nothing to protect the first hero! The Zeppelin is too late! Only the MK left now, but he's almost level 5. Ooh, but everything for Sok is about to die. Another stomp. Oh boy! And that's a lot of rifles going down. Interval popped on the Mountain King. We have the Aura again. Stomp is ready! Oh! The TC dies! Level 5 for the MK! And almost level 5 for the AM! Slow kind of starting to kick in. AM still half dead, getting healed though, getting level 5. Two grunts left behind, perhaps not in the group, perhaps attempting to do damage. Oh my god. Purge on the Zeppelin. The AM of course is the squishy part of this army. Oh my god. What the hell. Purge on the MK. But he has one Stormbolt still to use. Oh man, where are the priests? Where are the priests? The priest isn't healing the MK! Oh, and the Farseer is dead! And the MK is probably dead again! Oh, the shop! Heal! Pot! Oh my god! And now Stormbolt again. I think Sock has this. Oh ho 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 ho! Jesus, what a fight! The dust settles, finally. Mega Beefcake Mountain King. Almost 1500 HP. Almost 10 armor. <laughs> Close to level 6 now. Farseer also almost 5. And when there's no breakers to steal the wolves, that's really strong. It feels like the main should expire soon, but actually we have quite a bit left. What a game. The intelligence heroes are the weak Achilles heel of these armies. AM and Farseer. And the strength heroes are the carries. They are powerful and they're tanky as all hell. Oh, Invul dodge. Stoneball doesn't lead too much. And the AM. He's just dead again. I was just talking about it. 
Well, Invil protects him for a little bit longer. Needs to make sure he's healing him as well with the priests. But the priests are dying very fast. Stomp can't upload into the Zeppelin right now. And here comes the Entangle, or rather the Ensnare. Level 6 for the TC. Now he can't be killed anymore. Why was Sock pushing there? Very questionable choice. He can get level 6 here. Maybe. Dude, but these level 3 wolves are so strong. Especially in like ultra late game. Rifles seem way weaker than breakers. For tier 2 creeping they're better. But the longer this game goes, the more problematic it becomes when you don't have breakers. Level 6, MK. Can he make it to the shop one more time? Kill the raider! He gets the raider! Oh my god. Oh my god. More rifles going down. Priests. Where are the priests? Here he is. A player's forces are under attack. It's looking very good now for Lin, right? It has to. It's taking this priest quite a long time to heal his MK back up. Can he defend the altar? He's not repairing the altar! Suck! Oh, it's a lot of damage. Oh, militia. Dying quick. Oh, repair. You need to repair, dude. No repair. Ultra falls. Or at least not repair in time. Hikers. Of course we're going to map three here, boys. No other way. There was a rifle in there. Got him. And now finally it's time for the expo, as the main is gonna run out soon. We are gonna get to two base. What the hell this Mountain King? 1600 HP. 11 armor. <laughs> When he pops the ult, by the way, he's got more than 2k HP. Oh, he doesn't have ultimate, though. No Cosmodon. There's no pillage, by the way. Slight oversight by Lin. It's coming now. Stormbolt kill right there. I'm not using the Stormbolt. Hmm. Just wants to use Clap, I guess. Alright, there's one. Stormbolt now? No. Hmm. Okay. Invis? I don't know if you saw this. Ooh, big clap. I'm not using snowballs. Only clap. Only clap for the damage. TC has one more stomp unless he gets burned. Good job by the Arcane Tower. Oh, he gets it off just barely before running out of mana. Oh, nice entangle and Kodo Devour. Oh, Farseer though. Ooh, almost dead. Invil protects him. The wolves taking out some rifles in the back as well. Purge to control the MK. Clap! Right now! Do it! AM. Almost back. But, lots of gold for Lin. He is mining. Sock can't even go for clarities. What he wouldn't do for clarities on this MK right now. 
Needs an invul as well, but I bet Lin stole that invul. Oh, he didn't steal the invul. That's a big mistake. Sock. Oh, he doesn't have gold. Zero gold for Sock. Dude, can he win this game? I don't think he can win this game. Can he? <laughs> this farce here is just... Uh, this AM is just so squishy. I think you should give him the belt or something. The army for Lin is not that big. I know it's only one target. Archmage, here we go. Didn't forget about the dust. The clap is gonna be sick! And the Farseer almost dies, but he doesn't quite. And that's the Farseer again. Under threat and almost dead. The next clap is gonna be crazy. Oh, doesn't use it! The Farseer dies, chased down by the TC, the mad cow with a lightning shield, almost now level 7. Level 3 aura, crazy move speed. And the MK can't do it by himself. GG. And what a game it was. 1-1. One, one. Man, that was a great game. That was a lot of fun. Crazy back and forth all the time. Game 1 after that botched early was really bad for Lin. But game 2, it seemed like not that good of an early for Lin again. Especially with the AM being able to creep so many camps in the middle. And no expansion for Lin for so long. And guess what? If Lin plays this strat, he doesn't have to have an expansion quickly. Should he have gone for Cosmodan? It's so expensive. It's 150 mana, I think, right? You can't get purged, which is a really big deal. And you have more damage. More tankiness doesn't really provide much, because MK gets ignored anyways, as he rightfully should be. Alright, we're gonna come to our final map here. Northern Isles. Gonna be a Farseer again. Farseer TC against AMMK. Almost 100%. But games can still look wildly different one compared to the other. We had Breakers, Tier 2 Expo on LR, thanks to a strong early game for Sock. Was able to pull that off. And then Rifles one base. Breakers do look like the stronger army, especially late game. But it's harder to creep with them. And it can also be dangerous against Kodos and such. Oh, 
I thought the game was gonna crash. Wait, what? Lynn is playing random. By accident, I imagine. He got orc though. <laughs> what the hell? You can see it here. Orc? Yep. Go, go. Whatever. Wait, he wasn't random for the first game, was he? I think we just accidentally started the second game with him being on random. What the hell is this? What? That's the barracks first. Is this a Fire Lord push? What is this? Chimiko used to play Fire Lord push against Orc in the past quite a bit. Oh wait, I haven't updated the score yet. Oops. So obviously it's neutral hero. The only strat that I know human neutral hero against orc is Fire Lord Tower Push. But Lin is playing the perfect counter to this. Farseer and Grunts. Well I guess Farseer Headhunters might even be better. But Farseer and Grunts is not bad. It's pretty damn good. Strong early, which is exactly what you want. Or is it something else? If you go into a straight up normal game, like creep on one base and stuff. Oh, it is that. It is it. It is it. It is a Philo Tower push, boys. Wow. In the third and deciding game, he pulls out the Fire Lord. And Lin is going to see it right away. Of course he is. You always play Farseer aggressive on this map. All right. What's the reaction? Should be a war mill right away, right? Well, he's, he's waiting for the bro to finish, and then it's time for another grunt, and then it's war mill, I suppose. So, what's the best targets to attack in a tower push like this? Normally, it's definitely not footies, and it's definitely not fire lord. Usually, it's peasants. Peasants and towers. The one grunt is just keeping pressure on the fire lord though, which is also kind of cool. Minimizing the damage from him. Shop coming as well, of course, you need that. No war mill yet. There's not many uh, peasants left here at all. You need the peasants for the repair. And now all peasants are dead. New peasants have to be brought from the main. And this first tower is cancelled. Kind of cool tower position because it's out of borrow range, but it's not finishing. Huh. Yeah, suck. I don't know about this. This is not looking so good. It's a lot of lava spawn now. Grunts are kind of out of the fight for the time being. Shop isn't quite finished yet. Thank you, Tuan Tran, with a five euro donation. It says, Lin, let's go! Yeah, it's looking pretty good now for Lin, I think. But still no war mill. Is that the mistake here by Lin? Underestimating what this tower push can still do. It's a lot of lava spawn now. They are gonna run out soon, though, as you can see. That duration timer is uh, melting pretty quick. Wisely, Lin doesn't go for the lava spawn. He knows they're about to expire. Rather going for the foots. Are under One footy cancelled the healing on the grunts. That was also pretty nicely done by Sok. 
two towers just barely out of bottle range. Oh, Fire Lord died somewhere. I don't know where. That's level two for the farce here. No defense on these footies. Oh, finishing now. Okay. Use it instantly. Oh, that borrow cancel is important. This makes it so the towers can't be attacked. And oh, first scout tower is finished, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Farcy is pretty close to three, though. And again, all the peasants, almost all at least, are dead. Only a single arcane standing. Lin easily has the damage to deal with that one. GG! Map 3 didn't last long. Sok tries with a Fire Lord Tower push and fails. And that's Lin winning 2 1. And making it to the semi finals.